Hi, this is Russell Corey here for We Will Kill. Today we're going to be discussing and comparing three different microphones. In the last 10 years, the quality and fidelity of low-cost studio condenser microphones has skyrocketed. But how much of a game changer are these mics really? And can they hold their own against higher priced counterparts? One of the best reviewed of these low cost condenser mics is the Spark from Blue Microphones. It's an entry level $200 model in Blue's condenser lineup. Today, we're gonna to put the modestly priced and increasingly popular Spark toe to toe with two industry heavyweights. The venerable and ever present Neumann U87, which retails for around 3,200 and the Sennheiser MKH416 shotgun microphone, which retails for about a grand and is an industry standard for film, TV, and voiceover. All three of these mics are capable of recording a variety of different sources, but for this test, we decided to focus specifically on their performance at capturing voiceover. To make the test fair as possible, we decided to record in the same room with the same talent. The legendary Tom Olson donated his time and wit to help with this test. We recorded with Tom standing in the same spot, assuming the same distance from the mic capsule and using the same pop filter. The mics had all pads and filters disengaged and used the same cable going into the same Avalon 737SP preamp, set to the same gain for all three mics with no filters, EQ, or dynamics processing. We recorded into a Pro Tools HD native system at 96K 24-bit with no EQ or dynamics applied in Pro Tools. To make sure the playback levels sounded a little bit more consistent for the different mics, some peak normalization was applied. Five, four, three. In West Philadelphia, born and raised, on the playground is where I spend most of my days. Chillin', maxin', relaxin' all cool, and all shootin' some basketball outside the school when a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said, you're moving in with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. In West Philadelphia, born and raised, on the playground is where I spend most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing all cool, and all shooting some basketball outside of the school when a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said, you're moving in with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. In West Philadelphia, born and raised, on the playground is where I spend most of my days, chilling out, maxing, relaxing all cool, and all shooting some basketball outside the school when a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said, you're moving in with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. Three different microphones, three very different price points, but surprisingly close in overall perceivable sound quality. We were pleasantly surprised by just how favorably the spark compared to these industry standard mics. We're blown away at how well it compared to the vastly more expensive U87. All three mics have a frequency response that adds presence to the upper vocal frequencies, qualities which we felt could be heard most on the U87 and the Spark models. Unlike the Neumann, however, the Blue has a detectable dip around 200 Hz, giving it the appearance of being slightly brighter than either the Neumann or the Sennheiser. We definitely like the sound of the Sennheiser and could hear it accentuating some of the lower tones in Tom's voice, but felt perhaps it would sound better on someone with a lower timbered voice, like your typical movie trailer announcer or uh, James Earl Jones. So, our verdict. Picking the right voiceover mic can be challenging and there's never a one-size-fits-all solution. It should be noted that the U87 is a three-pickup pattern mic with a more accurate frequency response and should command a higher price tag. But given the $3,000 price gap, which mic gives the most value for the money? Based on what our ears are telling us, that title goes to the Spark. Sure, the Neumann is technically the better engineered microphone and the Sennheiser sounds great on the right voice, with the added value of doing kind of double duty as an excellent on-camera mic, but when it comes to picking a mic strictly for voiceover that packs the best punch for the money, 
yeah, we like the $200 Spark. We like it so much that we've been recommending it to many, many of the voiceover talents that we work with. If you have a larger budget, we honestly feel like you'd be better off spending it on a really nice preamp like the Avalon 737 SP, as it's gonna make more of a difference in tailoring your individual sound to your liking. Thanks for checking out our microphone shootout. Let us know what you think in the comments and give us a thumbs up if we helped you out. Subscribe to our channel and stay up to date on our future videos and follow us on Twitter at WeWillKill.